Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple, easy baby bib. So the, there's one version that doesn't have a pocket, and then there's another version that does have a pocket. The great thing about this bib is that there is a free sewing pattern on my blog. You can find the link in the description. Please subscribe to my channel and follow along for lots of fun sewing projects and free sewing patterns. For the one without a pocket, I prefer to just use quilting cotton and make a really simple bib. It's really more of, um, not like a food bib, but like a bib um, maybe to catch if they're drooling or spitting up. And the, the bib with a pocket, I like to use waterproof fabric so that um, you can use it when the baby's eating and there's a nice pocket for catching any food that falls. Of course, this is not everything. I think a baby gets messy and dirty no matter what they're doing and you know if you're prepared or not. Babies are just messy. These are fun bibs to make. They're great for gifts. You can make a lot at one time and it only uses a little bit of fabric. So let's get started. <clears throat> for this project, if you're making just the bib with no pocket, you'll need um, quilting cotton enough to you know do both sides then um, you will need some velcro I prefer to do bibs with velcro because it's easy to get on and off and um, then I don't have to worry about the any snaps um, falling out and getting choked on but if you want to you can use snaps or even a button and a buttonhole if you want to do the bib with a pocket I recommend using some sort of waterproof fabric like laminated cotton or oil cloth or faux leather, um, something like that so that the bib can be used um, and it will be waterproof. So the front side of the bib is this is laminated cotton and I'm going to do both the pocket and the bib with this. And then the back I am going to use quilting cotton so that it's comfortable against the baby's skin. If you're doing the bib with no pocket, you're just going to lay your bib um, pattern piece down and cut it out. If you are doing the bib with the pocket, then you need to cut out one piece from quilting cotton. Now I'm going to cut one pocket piece and one bib piece from um, the waterproof fabric. Now you're going to take some Velcro, uh, you want both sides, the hook side and the loop side. And um, so if I'm doing just the quilting cotton, I'm going to pin one on um, the side and then I'm going to pin the other one on the same side of the um, back or front or whatever. So you want both bib pieces to have a piece of Velcro on the same side. And I'm putting it here in the middle. Um, this part will be in the seam allowance and then you'll have all this room to use. And that will make it so that you can make the um, the neckline either, you know, you have a little bit of room to make it tighter or looser. Then when you go to sew, you're going to start on one long side, go across and back down, and you're going to leave this side unsewn because that will be the side in the seam, and you'll do the same to the other one. Now on the 
um, the waterproof version, you're going to do um, exactly the same where you put Velcro on the same side of both the front and the back of the bib. And when you're doing the waterproof version, since there is a right and a wrong side, this is the front, the waterproof fabric. So you want the um, hook side, the scratchy side, to be on the waterproof fabric, and that will make it so that this is away from the baby's skin. It will be facing away. Then you're going to take your pocket, and you're going to fold it in half along the fold line, like this. And you can't really press waterproof fabric because um, there's a chance you'll remove the finish that's on it. So you kind of have to finger press it and work with it. And then you are going to match it up with the bottom of the bib, match up the corners. And then I'm actually going to clip this in place. So I'm going to sew three sides of the Velcro like this, and then I'm going to sew one quarter of an inch from the edge, um, a basting stitch around here like this to sew, keep the pocket in place. So now you're going to take your bib pieces and place them right sides together. And you're going to pin around the edge. And you would do the same for the waterproof version. Um, the pocket's here, it's in place. And then you just place your back fabric on like this. And when you pin this one, um, try to keep your pins, like the holes you're creating, just within the 3 8 inch um, seam allowance so that you don't poke holes in the middle of the fabric. Now you're going to sew all the way around the bib, but you're going to leave a four inch hole to turn the bib right side out. Before you turn the bibs right side out, you will need to do some um, clipping and notching. So at the um, outer curves, you're going to notch. Um, I like to use pinking shears, but you can also cut out little triangles. At the inner curves, like at the neckline, you're going to clip um, to create space when you turn it um, right side out. Now we are going to turn the bib right side out through the hole. Now 
Now you're going to press these flat. You kind of need to roll the seams to, um, you know, bring the seam out to the edge. So on this um, quilting cotton one, you can make the, um, you can have the iron be hot to press it flat. When you are doing the waterproof one, you need to do it from the back and do a really, um, almost a cool iron to, so you don't ruin um, the waterproof fabric. Now that these are pressed, nice and flat um, we are going to top stitch around the edge of the bib and that will help it so that you close the hole um, when you top stitch over it it will just close the hole um, and we're going to do the same on um, the waterproof one Baby bibs are now finished and to um, put them on you just do the velcro in the back and you can make it you know tighter or looser depending on um, the size that you need and it also works with um, the waterproof bib and that is how you make an easy fun baby bib um, with or without a pocket thank you for watching my video I can't wait to see all of the baby bibs that you make I hope you have a wonderful day